Hey guys, welcome to Aether Gazer, and we're going to run through um, and also clarify some of the things that you might be confused in terms of using Hades' skill, how she she's going to be maximized and how she's going to be used. Okay, so um, she is a modifier which uses Divine Grace, so clearly there's a bar indicator down there. So the bar indicator is actually the, the meter for Divine Grace it ranges from zero to a max of a hundred. Okay, so why do you use that um, divine grace meter? Because it's usually tied to different combos and tied to the skills of the modifier themselves. Okay, if you're gaining divine grace, it usually goes to a hundred. But for her mechanic is you have to maintain between 25 to 75 to gain a cathodic mark. If you can see there below the feet of um, below the feet of Hades, there are four icons that are similar. So that means is that she is already full of cathodic mark. Then you could use her skill, which you can hold the um, normal attack button. So while you are in between, again, 25 to 75. If even if you don't do anything that is going to be gaining as long as there is actually a caveat for that so again going before we go to the gaining part and the losing part also make sure that once you reach the four there's also a mark to the right side of the four common marks and there will be an icon later to the left side of the four common marks so again if you hold the what they call this the the normal attack button it's going to unleash a attack a big attack and it consumes all the cathodic marks again 25 to 75 will just regenerate it even if you don't do anything okay how do you gain or how do you lose um divine grace okay so this is where we come in i'm gonna explain it now so when you do your basic attack, guys, there are clearly two puppets in your basic attack. One is Luke and the other is Mintha. So both of them influence your, um, your Divine Grace meter. So for Luke or L-E-U-C-E, -E -E, Luke basically is responsible for bringing down your, what they call this, bringing down your Divine Grace meter. And Mintha is responsible for increasing it. So how do you swap between the two? You swap between the two with this skill. Skill number one. So if you see those icons there, two and three, if they transform into circular uh, motion icons, that is Luke. Okay? If you swap again, if you see spikes for the icons, those are mintha okay so this means that this is going to be gaining and uh, the other one for luke this one this is going to be losing okay so you can adjust as you you know as you like right right now we are at 75 so we want to lose we want to we, we don't want to go over 75 so all you have to do is um do th two and three do not change puppets so that luke will be able to consume your um, divine grace as you can see it goes down but if it goes so much down you need to put it actually back up again so you have to switch also to mintha to increase so do a two and three combo to increase this so as you continue to do two and three it increases as you see there okay so that is how you maintain so her mechanic basically re revolves around the divine grace meter between 25 points to 75 then you um adjust it by using luke or mintha in terms of the skill okay so again once you have four um you can use your your you can hold the normal attack and you can see a yellow meter in the middle Okay, the yellow meter is an indication that that skill is still active and do not interrupt it because, again, if you interrupt it with another skill or with an ultimate, it's going to, you know, it's not going to finish all the damage that it can deal. So as you, if you, for example, have, uh, what do you call this, 
if you, for example, have four already charged, and if you have an ultimate charge already, preferably you go with the ultimate first. Then once the ultimate is done, because your normal um, normal attack long press is longer, it would be better that way. So it's better optimized and you would deal more damage. Okay. So if you do again, just want to remind you guys, if you do a normal attack, uh, as you can see there, there is a slight increase okay slight increase in your divine grace meter but it's going up and down if you notice because both puppets are attacking so both are adding and subtracting from your divine grace meter so that is it so but it usually favors mintha because there is an increase clearly so again if you are there if you are above 75 you can no longer gain cathodic marks okay so again you have to make sure that you go down and uh, i know this is going to be a bit um what do you call this a bit um, tedious but again the mechanic once you get used to the flow of how she's being used then you can really maximize her damage so again go with the ultimate if the avail if the ultimate is available then you go with the holding of your normal attack. Once the yellow meter is up, then you can repeat the process. Okay, so that is it. It's 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 not going to be very confusing. Just make sure that you follow what I mentioned. Um, know what the buttons are for and how to increase and decrease your divine grace meter. How to maximize your damage output using your ultimate and also holding your normal attack button so that is it guys i, I think her kit is fun um if you really if you're into combos and into what they call this and into increasing your damage she is going to be a beast i tell you so that is it guys um i bid you farewell i'll see you in my live streams and thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here